Hello everyone. I'd like to show you how to make an EVA doll. The EVA is also known as Fomi, Musgami, uh, Fan, Fan Musgami, and it's a very, very soft, flexible product. It's rubbery. It's very easy to cut. As you can see, it cuts like butter and you can shape it which is very nice too we have about 40 colors of the plain EVA and then we have this one which is slightly, slightly more expensive which we call towel because it has the texture of a towel I have already prepared on the table a doll that I'm going to show you how to do it here we have the hair, the face and the head, the skirt and the jacket, the body, the legs and the feet. So I have it already all cut, so I don't spend a lot of time cutting everything, but I'm going to show you how I transfer the pattern onto the EVA. If I cut the pattern on a thin cardboard, it's easier. Take for instance this little bit of EVA, as, as if it was a pattern. Just take a skewer, put the pattern on top of the EVA and mark. Then cut it with the scissors or use a cutter. Use a cutter with a small blade if you do decide to use a cutter. We will also need some wire, pliers, and that's and of course hot glue, a hot glue gun and hot glue. This is essential. Uh, some people have asked me if we can use the normal EVA styrofoam glue. To do this kind of work, I wouldn't advise it because it takes quite a while to dry, and to hold down legs and arms and feet with that glue, it's going to be difficult. To use that those super glues. We'll end up with a lot of glue on our fingers and it's quite sticky, it's not a pleasant feeling. So I decided to use this, if you work with children, be careful. And I usually use a small gun, it doesn't heat up so much. Okay, let's start. As I've said before, we use styrofoam balls for the body, for the feet, uh, uh, sometimes we use cones. Uh, different sizes. We usually work with a 10 cm diameter ball, but we can work with 8 or 6. It doesn't really matter, it depends on the size of the doll you want to make. I have here the squares, two squares, one for the face, another one for the head. Now, to get it shaped, I have to heat it. And this is what I do. I take the square, Cover it with a piece of grease paper. I have to go and get my iron. And I iron it. I'll show you just now, it will start to cool. The moment it starts to cool, I know that it's hot enough for me to shape it. You see how it lifts? So I know it's hot. Don't overdo it, otherwise it will shrink too much. Eh? This is it. That's the point when I have to stop, take my ball, place it on top and shape it. Don't do it all at once, do it slowly, but we have to do it while it's still hot. It doesn't burn, it's just a little bit hot, that's about it. If we try to stretch it all at once, it might just tear. The next step, I'm going to cut the corners here, I don't need them. This is a very easy doll, I'm, I went for a very easy pattern just to show you, then we can go on to more difficult ones. I don't know if you can see it, there's a small line here, a mark, uh, it, it, it's the middle of the ball. So we, I always put my glue around this mark. I know it's the middle. And that's where I want the face to be. See? It's shaped. So 
some people put masking tape here because the hot glue tends to eat the styrofoam but if we work fast enough it will be okay and we keep on stretching it a little bit because it's hotter now and we can still stretch a little bit more we hold it try not to use those big hot guns they get really hot I've burnt myself once and it's not very pleasant This will be covered up completely. By the time we finish, we won't be seeing anything of it. Now I cut it all around. Now we will do the same with the head. Exactly the same. Already have the face, the head, and now I'm going to make the French. I'm going to iron it again so it cools. See how it curls? Once it's ironed, it curls like that. It's great fun to do it. And we're going to glue it all around here. Hold it down. need a lot of glue. See? I can curl a little bit, bit more. I want to. Or if I feel it's too long, I can cut it. Whatever. Okay, so we have the French, right? Now we're going to cover this. And how do we do it? We put a hairband all over, you see? And you can't see where it's been glued. Usually start here because this, if this is the fringe, this will be the part of the neck. So I'm going to start from here. I always stretch it a little bit. If I do that, then it glues better and it looks thinner. Now let it rest. And then we're gonna put two ponytails here. But now it's gonna rest for a while. We're going to go for the feet and the legs. Now we are going to do the legs. I have one already here, and this is the little bit we need for the legs. The wire has always to be a little bit longer because I need to get it into the feet and the body. So, this is it, just roll it, and roll it, and mind your nails, otherwise you're gonna mark the EVA. And a little bit of glue here. So then, now I'm going to show you how we usually do the feet. We can do them different ways, but this is the most common one. I have two, one ball here cut in half, and then from the half I took a little bit. 
glue it together and cover it with the EVA like I did on the face. Just have to hold it for a little bit so the glue dries. So for the feet you will need two smaller balls. Sometimes you use a bigger one and a smaller one. Two different sizes. Or you can even use an egg, a styrofoam egg. In certain, for certain dolls it looks very nice. I'm going to iron it again. Some people use a hot gun. Some use those... Um, a hair dryer, it's one of those things that make your hair straight, and I, I, I personally don't like it. I've tried it and I don't like it, but it's up to you. So I'll do exactly the same thing I did with the face at the corners. One very good thing about the EVA is that it's very soft and very easy to work with. And there are so many things we can do with it, from little handbags, children love it, to the dolls, book covers. Now we have the two feet and we're going to put the shoes on. We have this and I'm going to glue it at the base like this. And I'll cut it all around. Then I'll do the same thing with this one. Done, and I'm going to cut it. You can also place this on a cutting mat and try and cut it with a knife, a cutter. I'd rather do it with the scissors, it's safer. Now, I'm going to cover all this by applying this, okay? A small strip will work miracles. This part will be the back. the feet are ready, it's got little shoes, little sandals, and now we're going to put the legs. And this is how we do it. Hold it down a little bit, and do the same thing here. Okay, now 
Yep. Fine. Okay, now we're gonna go for the body. And this is how we do it. This little round thing is to cover the ball. And this will be our body. But we have to stretch it a little bit. If we try to stretch it now, it's more difficult. So we're gonna iron it just slightly and then we're gonna shape it as we like it. Just a little bit is enough. This will be enough just for us to shape. The body, we can either do it like this with a ball cut, or we can do it with a cone. If you use a cone, we have to cut a little bit on the neck, otherwise, it's going to be very, very long. I think we've shown you already the bee that I have here, and the bee, the body of the bee can also be made with a styrofoam comb. Should I stretch it a little bit more? There we go. Okay. So this is why I use the small gun. If this was one of those big guns, I'll be burnt already. Okay, here we're going to put some filling. This is also what we usually put in the pillows, to fill in the pillows. It's very soft. then you could make the panties, whatever. But this will not be seen, so there shouldn't be any problems. So now we have the body, we have the legs, we have the feet, and I'm going to just stick the legs here, okay? And I want the dog to stand. Oh, by the way, if you want the doll to stand, you put the legs in this position. If you want the doll to sit down, then you will stick the legs like this. And then you can even bend the legs. So to stand up here, to sit down here. And you can bend the legs if you want to. Body. Now we're going to do the skirt. We're going to iron it. It doesn't have to be very hard. I need to be able to do this. Need a lot, but we need to hold it down. 
Okay, like this it looks ugly. It's going to look nice just now. We'll now put the belt. And we are going to start here and go all around. So we have the skirt, legs, feet, shoes. Now we are going to make the sleeves and the hands. There are two ways of doing the hands. We can either glue them and leave them like this, or we can just glue them here on the sides and fill them with this as well. I'm just going to do the plain ones. Sleeves. The sleeves have to be done like this. Blue, 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 blue all around. You see, I'm holding it down because I don't want to burn myself. That's it. So we have sleeves, hands, and we have a long, long wire here. And this is like that because it has to go through the body. I have rolled up a strip of EVA and I'm going to put it here. First, I'll put some glue and this will help to hold the head because the head will not have any wire. It will just be glue. And it will also help to hold down the sleeves. Okay, let's try it a little bit. And I'm going to show you something else about this dress. There are other ways of making skirts. This is the easiest one. Then we have this one. I've made almost it. Just glue it on the sides. Hold it down. Press. While this one dries, we can go into this one. Also easy. It, it's, it's a little bit more of work. That's why I decided not to do it now. Because it takes quite a while to cut it and everything. So then we just glue these two here. Here is the skirt, see? Then you stick it like we did on this one and put the belt as well. But it, this one really is more work. That one is much easier, especially if you are starting now. Okay, now I'm going to put the jacket. If this is too long, because it will never be the same, although we're using the same pattern, if you glue the skirt a little bit up, then this is going to be too long. Uh, if, if you have a pleat coming up like this, then this will stick. So we'll, we always have to adjust. This is what I'm going to do now. I'll find it a little bit. And it a little bit here because it makes it easier to fold, to mark. And now I'm going to place it here. That. Okay. So I'll take a little bit of glue, put it here and here, and hold it down until it's dry. Otherwise, it's gonna stick up.
while I'm waiting for this to dry, I've already glued two flowers here on the feet. It's an easy way to decorate. And now we are going to place the arms and the hands. You take this long wire and we're going to make a hole here. Can you hear it? It goes from one side to the other. See? And I'm going to put this in with a little bit of glue. so much and we're gonna put the hand here little bit of glue inside and put it in if you want you can put a little bit of glue here as well and press it but this should be okay it won't move. and we'll do the same thing on this side I've already glued the other arm and the hand and I've glued the head as well. Now I'm going to put the ponytails. Just glue them here and it's done. You have to press a little bit otherwise it's going to fall. This is what happens if you were using the normal EVA glue. It would take much longer to dry and uh, you'd not be able to do this. Now, I think it's going to look nice if I put two little flowers here. You can paint it with acrylics, you can use the natural colors from acrylics, you send them down with the medium gel, the blending gel, and you can just paint as you like. Or you can cover it with fabric, but that will be something I'll teach you in the next video. Now I'm just going to make some very, very easy eyes and finish the face. This might be a bit scary, especially if you are not used to it, but there is another way, also very easy to do it. This is a permanent pen, a black marker, just paint the eye. If you do it with a brush and black acrylic, it will look nicer, but this will do. Now she needs some color here, otherwise she's going to look very pale. This is what I'm going to do next. For the cheeks we can do it two ways. Either with a little bit of acrylic, I'm going to use acrylic now, and a bristol brush, I take the excess from the bristol brush, almost as if I was going to stencil, and I'll color the cheeks here, just going around slowly until it is pink enough. Another way of to do the cheeks, the rosy cheeks, is with the normal blush we're using now for our face, now makeup blush. Just put a little bit, little bit on the finger and do this and that will be okay. But this is also okay. Then we're gonna need some white spots here. To make dots we can use this, it comes in a set with two and we'll use the thinnest one, we'll just place it like that, it's, it makes it easier because it's always the same size. Now for the eye, I want a thicker one, a bigger one. Dot and dot. 
If I want to, I can put some dots on the skirt as well. I'll just show you how it's done. And I'm going to use some bigger ones. So you don't have to buy EVA, printed EVA. It's much, much more expensive and there's no need. And we can go on until we are finished. Or oh, happy with the result at least. It makes life very easy, these little things. Even when we paint on wood, it's very helpful. Okay, now we have finished our doll. And before I go, I'd like to show you two more things. For those who um, don't want to try to make the doll because they think they will not be able to do it, I have a surprise for you. We have made these little faces. We have them printed. They come in packets with six or eight faces depending on the size. And you can just buy a packet, cut which one you want and glue it on the styrofoam ball. This way it's much, much easier to make the doll. Now, I have published a book, Creative EVA, where I teach step by step how to start. And here I'll show you how to make these cute little dolls with cheeks sticking out. It's all here, how to cut it, how to glue it, how it's done. Of course, apart from this, you can also use the EVA to cover a book. This is a normal exercise book. And this is normal plain EVA and then it's painted with natural colors from Acrylex. Enjoy yourself. If you want to buy the book or any information for the book, you can go to www.polymens.com. We've got an online shop. Or visit my Facebook, Polymens. Ask anything if you want, if you have any doubts. And I'm here to help you if you need any help.